the video that you're about to watch has been two years in the making and there's a reason for that yeah a couple of reasons one we don't want to just put out a lot of negative reviews or bad reviews we all know that some products are just not made with the same quality as other products and things just don't work out sometimes yeah and it takes time to know this and it takes yeah. mile after mile to really know a product yes our review videos do take a little bit longer than your typical reviewers out there just yeah. because we like to put the product to the test right i mean a lot of our products we put it to the test for a whole year yeah. Because it ain't only the miles, it's how it holds up to the elements. Yes, that's and right. element testing takes time. Yes. The other reason is there's a lot of you guys out there that have been watching us from the very beginning. You've seen products that we run, and then sometimes we just stop running them and we stop talking about them. That's normally for a reason. This is one of those products. So I've seen a lot of you guys purchase this product or this brand, and... You've had the same issues that we've had. So Absolutely. we just wanted to kind of put this video out there. It really resonated with me because I felt obligated to you as a viewer, as the person out there doing research, fixing and spend your hard earned money on something that you expect to last. Now we can all go buy those cheap Amazon parts and then you compare it to the top line aftermarket or maybe the OEM parts. So this video, you're gonna see our take on this product and how it stacked up and we did put it to the ordinary one test and i have to say it failed so here is our experience i'm just going to touch base a little bit on this right here guys if you follow us and you have been following us for some time you see steph and i trying to save money um, and trying to get the best product so it's always walking that that line right product money how they treat you it's a whole ball of wax right we know this so as we've been traveling over the last couple of years, we started using Advan Black. And Advan Black has been good to us. They've sent us product and we've used their product and it's done pretty good. But I did want to uh, share with you our experience with Advan Black. So it was, we were riding this year, we did the Guinness World Record longest poker run. We left basically Fort Myers and we rode a big long loop and around, ended up in Sturges. It was a couple thousand miles and we ran very hard and very fast. It was very hot. Well, throughout that ride, we did blow out our tour pack, um, which really sucked. Yesterday we knew as far as the placement of everything in the rear view mirrors was a little off. And then I could feel whenever we go over bridges and interpasses that it was really, really like a lot of play in it. So this morning loading, I noticed the ridge here is a lot higher than normal. So we got up underneath there and looked, and sure enough, the bottom of their tour pack is just completely busted out. This is the second issue Hold that. that we've had with the Advan Black tour pack. So we got one lady that's interested in renting a trike from Pig Trail. We may be checking into a tour pack. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, let's just get, we can get, we'll make it through the day. Oh. Right. We gotta get through. Oh my gosh, sucks. So you'll be able to put your electronics in it but it will not be dry but i think we'll be okay today shut this and you'll be able to lean on it you know take that weight off and you'll be fine um this is the deal though guys i'll just be honest with you we're lucky right now because we're on this guinness world record setting poker run they have a chase vehicle behind them now what we're gonna do is put our gear in that trailer until we get the pig trail which is today and uh, take care of this. Now, if we'd have been out somewhere, we'd have had to just leave our gear somewhere secure and go take care of this problem. It's just timing and we're very fortunate. Like 
But if you're on a road, like I said, cutting cross country like we're fixing to, to be, and this was to happen, and we ran like this for years. Um, I'd say probably almost 30,000 miles this yeah. tour pack has. So the first thing, this is a Harley Davidson luggage rack. We had their Advan Black on there and we ripped them off right here. It just bent down and broke. So then we put this on the Advan Black tour pack. And then the, we started noticing that the weight of the tour pack was causing us to do this. And we're having to like readjusting this up and you can see where it's rubbing. It's almost as if the hinges are getting really worn out already. Yeah. Which what it was is all this flex, it was starting to break, which I got up underneath there the other day, look, but I couldn't see anything. And what this done thing done is it's actually just, we hit a bump and it, whoosh, it let go. Is what's happened. I mean, it just busted. That's what we're up against, um, but everything's fine. We're we're great, but I'm just thinking in worst case scenario, if all that weight was back here and it continued to break and row back, it would pull Steph's uh, backrest back and down, and you could just imagine like it breaking all at once and cracking and falling, hitting the road, and you're like, worst case scenario. It was it's super uncomfortable to think about. And of course you can't ride like you need to because you're trying to ease over every bump. That, so, no big deal. Another day on the road. So we got to our lodging. This is day, what is this on our Great Escape hunt? Day 12 on the Great Escape and the day three on the poker run. So we just did our number three pull on the poker run. So this is what's happened. We, I'm not real sure if we're gonna release this or whatever, but we blew out the bottom of the tour pack, which you guys seen earlier. So we're right here in Eureka, about 45 minutes away from home. The kids came over to see us. So what we're doing, we're downgrading a lot of our shit. And they, they think it's a lot of shit, but we're on the road for 54 days, 13,000 miles. It's like our tent, our sleeping bag, our, our bed rows. We're just going to send it all home um, and hopefully we can get this replaced. So, in the meantime, we should be like hanging out, eating, hanging with the kids. We got them to work, sorting through our shit. They'll take it home. If we happen to need something, we'll have them ship it to us. Right? That's what our thoughts are. As a family, we came to that decision, planning for the worst case scenario. If we weren't able to get that, tour pack replaced we're going to lighten the load and then do something with it so this is us in the parking lot lightening the load <laughs> but they've sent a, a replacement one up at Sturgis which I want to thank Rick Rack for throwing that on while we we're up there uh, the whole bottom of it though there's a plate underneath here uh, it busted up through so this this top half here went down and the bottom came up through and we just busted the whole thing out. Uh, it was uh, pretty, pretty shitty. We made do and we got through it. Like I said, we reached out to Advan Black. They did send us a new tour pack up there, two Sturges, and we got it put on. Um, they did have to go ahead and paint one and send it to us. Uh, like I said, got it on up there and now we've got back home and rode a little bit more but i have noticed this if you guys can see uh, the paint's coming off it's just chipping off different places just i don't know there's nothing down here flopping on this side or anything um, so like i said it's just going all the way down to the primer um, it's just all the way all the way down just specks coming off of it um, another thing that we did do last year before we ripped out the original tour pack is we ripped out one of the luggage racks so it broke right here and right here it bent and ripped down so that was bouncing um, once again Shane at Rick Rack when we got down to Florida we were heading down for Daytona for Daytona Bike Week we actually put an OEM Harley Davidson one on there so that's two kind of things, really three kind of things that I've run into at Advan Black. One, the, the luggage racks, they're really thin. You'll have to watch them. We did rip one out. 
the next thing, we did blow the bottom out. We do run heavy, we run a rick rack bag on top, and it is full, but not any more full than you can fill it up. Um, and then the next thing, this last thing, is the paint is chipping and coming off. Now, they have always taken care of us there, but I did want to put this out there to you guys because, well, without you viewers, the only one wouldn't be anything, and I don't want to lie, but I do not want to put negative stuff out there, so I'm just laying the obvious out there and what has happened. There's one other thing when it comes uh, from the tour pack onto their quick connect. Uh, we did have a little problem with their quick connect, and what I mean by that is the, as you can see right down here, so this powder coating has chipped off. So that's all rusted now. That's oh, chipping off right there. You can see the powder coat right there. Some of the powder coating just chipping off. We've all probably seen that over time on some things. But like I said, that's another thing that happened just right after we got it. Like I said, the powder coating on the quick connect to the Advent Black Tour Pack. Um, which up here seems okay, but the lowers is what's chipping. And once again, you can see the paint right here chipping off on the sides. This, not so good. Look at that. But it does form to the head after it gets so hot, it starts forming to it. It's a cool look. So in closing, guys, you know, as we run these products, Steph and I have done this for the last four years now, you run into some products that are really good and you have some products that are a little bit lower on the scale of really good. What I mean by that is we're comparing prices to the quality of product. So it's to be expected. If you don't pay that top end, are you really going to get the product that you're wanting without paying that money? Well, in some regards, you are. I've ran into the products that I know are really good, and you're, it's competitive. And then I've seen those products where you pay cheap, and you might as well not even waste your money. So we're always trying to find that balance. Once again, Advan Black, great people. We just haven't had the best of luck with this product right here. Sad to say. And once again, guys, thanks for watching this video on our Advan Black experience. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And like always, y'all stay ornery and see what we're up to next.